Second, how to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. From what we have here, this follows when we have a raised to power m plus n. Put the same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. That is here, yeah, what we have becomes 8 raised to power x times 8 squared equals to 72 from here. That is, next step, we can write this as 8 raised to power x times 8 squared, that's 8 times 8, which is 64, then equals to 72 on this side. The next step, we divide both sides by 64. Let's divide this side by 64. Also, divide this side by 64, which implies 64 cancelled each other here. And we are left with 8 raised to the power x, which is equal to 72 over 64 here. The next step here, this becomes 8 raised to the power x equals to 8 times 9 over 8 times 8, which implies here 8 cancel each other. And we are left with 8 raised to the power x, which is equals to 9 over 8 from here. The next step here, we take the log on both sides. At this here, we have log 8 raised to the power x equals to log. 9 over 8 here. That is, here we apply the power of log room from what we have log m raised to power p with the same thing as p log m. Then what we have here becomes x log 8 equals to log 9 over 8 here. Then from here, we divide both sides by log 8. That is, divide this side by log 8. Also, divide this side by log 8, which implies here log 8 cancel each other, and we have x left, which is equal to log 9 over 8 divided by log 8. Then from here, this follows the law of logarithm. When we have log a over b, it's the same thing as log a minus log b. That is, what we have here becomes x equals to log 9 minus log 8 divided by log 8. Then from here, we separate this into two fractions, and we have x equals to log 9 over log 8 minus log 8 over log 8. At this here, log 8 comes each other. We have one left here, which implies x equals to log 9 over log 8 minus 1. That is also here. We can write 9 as 3 times 3, which is the same thing as 3 square, and also 8 as 2 times 2 times 2, which is the same thing as 2 raised to power 3. Then what we have here becomes x equals to log 3 squared over log 2 raised to power 3 minus 1. And from here, we apply the power of logarithm. 2 comes here and 3 comes here. And we have x equals to 2 log 3 over 3 log 2 minus 1. Then, we can rewrite this as x equals to 2 over 3 times log 3 over log 2 minus 1. Then when we apply change of base here, from when we have log a over log b, which is the same thing as 
log a to base b. Then what we have here becomes x equals to 2 over 3 log 3 base 2 minus 1. And also we can bring this together as one fraction. But this is the SCM here as 3. We have x equals to 3 here. Then this remains 2 log 3 base 2 then minus 3 from here now. So here we have the value of x in this problem as 2 log 3 base 2 minus 3 all over 3. Then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 2 log 3 base 2 minus 3 all over 3. Then what we have here becomes 8 raised to power 2 log 3 base 2 minus 3 all over 3 plus 2 is equals to 72 on this side. Then from here, we can bring these fractions together as one. This is 2 over 1. That is 8 raised to power SM up here. That's 3. Then here we still have 2 log 3 base 2 minus 3. Then plus 6 here now. Is equals to 72 on this side. That is here. Yeah, 6 minus 3. That's 3. And we can write it as x raised to power 3 plus 2 log 3 base 2 all over 3. Is it equals to 72 on this side? Then, okay. yeah, we can also rewrite it as 2 raised to power 3, which is raised to power 3 plus 2 log 3 base 2 all over 3. Is it equals to 72? On this side then from here this power multiplies and these three cancel each other we have 2 raised to power 3 plus 2 log 3 base 2 is it equals to 72 from here then here applying the law of indices when we have a raised to power m plus n do the same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n then, yeah, this becomes 2 raised to power 3 times 2 raised to power 2 log 3 base 2. Is it equals to 72 on this side? Then, 2 raised to power 3 here, yeah, that gives us 8 then times. Here, yeah, we reverse this 2 from power law, and we have 2 raised to power log 3 square base 2. Is it equals to 72 from here? Then, from here we have 8 times 2 raised to power log 3 square plus 9 is 2. Is it equals to 72 from here? Then, here this follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a, which is equals to b. That is, yeah, this is the same thing as 9. 8 times 9 is equals to 72 here. Yeah? And of course, 8 times 9 gives us 72, which is equals to 72 from here. Left hand side equals to right hand side. Hence, here, yeah, we conclude that x equals to 2 log 3 base 2 minus 3 all over 3 satisfies this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comment. See you next class, and bye for now.